Hey guys, it's Jarek here from MMT. Today I got Marcus on the table. Today I'll show you a demonstration of a treatment of the front of the neck. So, welcome to 2024. Thank you for watching the whole year last year. If you could like and subscribe this video, that'll be great. Thank you, we'll get to it. All right, so first things first, I like to treat the SCM, okay? So that's this muscle in the front of the neck. You can see it pop out if he turns the other way. Okay, so how I like to get into it, I like to control his head like this. Let it pop out and just start off naturally, get a pincer grip on the belly of the muscle there, okay? Sometimes you will feel uh, referrals up to the front of the, front of the head or like the jaw, even the back of the head. And it can be quite tight on a lot of people, yeah? So reasons why it might be getting tight, it can be from everyday kind of forward head posture if posture has been affected. Um, especially if you're a desk worker, if you're in the combat scene, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, you know that your neck can get quite tight in a lot of your scrambles and, and your matches. So keeping these structures nice and healthy will definitely benefit you in the long run. So from here, I can always pinch or I can also just glide along that region here. And I might find little tight spots, little nodules, or resistance is what I normally feel, and I will just camp in some of those areas. You can also do it self-administered on, on yourself. You can always pinch this area and move his neck. I'm just controlling Marx's head. That way I have full kind of mobility around this area. I also like to get around the back side of the SCM, which I find in the nooks and crannies is always where it's tight. Yeah, I've dealt with personally and, and, and other clients that I can be, be seeing with neck discomfort and this SEM is always one of my go-to spots. And Ninch, how are we feeling there? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. man. Feels good. I'm just checking with him. Sometimes it can be close to the throat as long as it feels quite comfortable and not, not obviously impeding the throat area, it's okay. So also I wanna just make sure I maintain contact. Sometimes you feel like the, the transverse process on the side as well. Need to clean out in some of these areas. Scalenes, I'm going to work through here. Mastoid process into the top of the collarbone right here. This is also a breathing muscle because some of these scalenes do attach to the ribs. So if you feel like you're training a lot, you're doing a lot of heavy breathing, mouth breathing, this can also get quite tight. I don't want to apply too much pressure. It's sometimes a bit more of a stretch, a bit of firm pressure. I can I just use his neck to kind of stretch out those structures. Some people might feel a referral or a nerve feeling down the arm, and it could be an impingement in some of these structures in the scalenes or this little anterior aspect of the neck. So I like to really just freshen these areas out. I can feel it's a bit tender in some of these areas, so I'm just gonna check in, hold this spot, Move it off. Oh. Is that stuff going down the arm? It's, yeah, it feels um, on the spot nervy. Yeah. Something, yeah, it's like um, it's a, Like a stretch pull? Yeah, it's a hard sensation to describe, but it's yeah. just sh like um, kind of sharp. Yeah. Just right on the spot, but kind of still tolerable. Yeah, you can really know what's there though. It's a, yeah, it's a little stretchy one. Stretching a nerve out. Stretchy, right yeah. There. Wow. Sometimes like just even a tiny bit more wax just to kind of help of like because the skin here is very very like kind of loose so you need to kind of if there's too much tautness it will kind of pull okay so I like to just bring underneath the collarbone just like that. Also people that have had shoulder problems as well also ties into neck problems 
It's really a reflection of how the structures are working together. Okay. I want to do some work through underneath the collarbone and also do some more active work coming from this side into the scalenes. Okay. So from here, pin here, I can grab his elbow, his arm. I kind of raise his shoulder up, just make it a bit more kind of relaxed in this area, and then I just go through a little stretch like that. Go for another one. So this is my first neck video, I'll be doing like a neck series uh, going forward, really targeting um, people in the MMA scene, the wrestling scene, the combat scene, common areas that can get tight or dysfunctional, but can also happen in everyday people too. So if that's you, just come follow along, see what I put out there, and this might help you. Yeah, this spot can be quite a money spot in through here, so I might get right underneath the clavicle. It's therapeutic. Yeah. It's really good. I suppose this area can be involved too, can't it? Because you desk or driving postures, you know, your, your chest and your front delt and your biceps get tight. Yeah, nice. yeah, it can kind of compress, so we just want to create space where things are getting locked up or compressed, so introduce that, that opposite motion, stretch them out. I've got the guys that do chest Oh yeah. yeah. All the time I'm always pushing, but <laughs> don't do the balance with the, the back. pulling. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to keep to keep things in balance, muscle muscle imbalances, muscle dis dysfunctions. So that's things like your rowing, your scapula health, scapula retraction. So those are some of the main areas I like to target um, in the front of the neck. Next I'll be doing the back of the neck, posterior neck, and then follow with some exercises to help you rehab or kind of address some of those uh, corrections that we need, we need to do. So thanks for watching guys. Thank you. Sweet.